Hey, it's Adam, and in this video, I'm super excited to teach you this very, very powerful meditation practice that is perfect for beginners and is also amazing for people who are more experienced in meditation because this practice that I'm going to teach is extremely simple. You can do it anywhere at any time. There aren't any gimmicks. There, there's no complex visualizations. You don't have to light candles or burn incense. You don't have to sit in a certain way. This practice distills the essence of meditation, which is why it's so powerful. Now, the reason why I'm qualified to teach you this meditation practice is because I've been practicing meditation for over five years very seriously. I've been on over 10 meditation retreats where I meditate all day, every day for sometimes 14 to 15 hours. I've experimented with many different meditation techniques and I've distilled the most powerful technique um, that I would teach to you if you were a beginner who has never practiced meditation before, but would like a very strong and powerful meditation practice that can take you very far and you can practice every day for years and still get some amazing results from it. Now, what makes an important meditation practice? The reason, the way that I judge a meditation practice is how simple is it and also how powerful is it? Now, this technique that I'm about to teach you is extremely, extremely simple and also extremely, extremely powerful. Now, let's get into it right now. So what is the technique? So in order to do this meditation technique, you don't need a special pillow. You don't need to sit in a specific way. What I recommend is that you set a timer on your phone or if you have a digital timer, that's good too. Set a timer for 20 minutes. And what you're going to do is you're going to sit down. You can cross your legs or you can sit on the edge of a chair. The best way to practice is if your back is more or less straight, you want your spine to be as straight as possible, but you also don't want to feel like you're forcing yourself to sit a certain way. You want to be able to relax. So sit as straight as possible, <sighs> ground yourself, get in the present moment and start your timer for 20 minutes. Now what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes, put your hands in your lap in a comfortable way and you're just going to get very in touch with the fact that the present moment is the only thing that exists. So you're going to allow your mind to become grounded in the present moment. Though a good way to do this is to take a couple deep breaths, focus on the breath and just notice that the present moment is all that exists. Now this should take you about a minute or two. Now you're grounded in the present moment. Now, this is the, the meat of the technique right here. What you're going to do is you're going to witness everything that happens and you're not going to follow your thoughts. You're not going to intentionally try to do anything. What you're going to do is you're going to witness everything that happens. So practically the way this is going to look is you're going to be sitting there. You're going to sit with your eyes closed and let's say you're going to have a thought that comes up, right? You're going to think about this video game you were playing and how to beat the next level of the video game, right? So as, as you're thinking, what you're going to do is you're going to just witness the thought. You're going to witness yourself thinking. You're not going to judge yourself. You're not going to tell yourself that you're bad for thinking. You're not going to tell yourself that you're doing the meditation wrong. 
In this technique, it's important that we're not trying to control or manipulate our experience in any way. Instead, what we're trying to do is just witness everything that happens with detachment. So we're just, we're, we're empty, we're being an empty witness. So let's say you're sitting and your back starts hurting. Instead of trying to move it and trying to adjust it, try, instead of uh, trying to judge yourself for not being able to sit properly, you tell yourself that you're, hips aren't flexible or that your back isn't flexible enough. Instead of doing that, what you're going to do is you're just going to witness exactly what happens. Witness the feeling in your back. Witness the thoughts judging yourself and just remain detached. And that's the entire practice. In every single moment, all you're doing is you're witnessing the content of your experience. You're just witnessing the moment with detachment. You're not trying to do anything. You're allowing the moment to exist as it does. Everything that arises, you're allowing it to arise. And you're also allowing it to pass. So all the thoughts, you're letting them come and you're letting them go. And your job is just to watch with detachment. Now, if you notice that it's difficult to remain a witness or it's difficult to watch with detachment, then all you're gonna do is just watch that. If you find it difficult to watch your thoughts, just watch the fact that it's difficult to watch your thoughts. Be a witness to that. If you notice yourself getting lost in the content, trying to control, trying to manipulate your experience, then just watch that. You're watching everything. You're always trying to take a step back from whatever experience is distracting you. Whatever is happening in this moment, you're always just taking a mental step back so that you can watch it with detachment, you're detaching yourself. And that's it. You, after you do this technique, after maybe 10, 15 minutes, uh, you should notice yourself feeling a lot more calm, a lot more peaceful. As you practice more every single day, it's very important that you do this practice every single day or else you're not gonna get nearly as powerful of results as you should be getting. This med meditation is not something that you do once a week or whenever you feel like it. Uh, it's very important that you do it every single day for at least 20 minutes. Now, as you get better, you're going to notice that it's easier for you to detach yourself from the thoughts. It's easier for you to witness your experience. And then in everyday life, you're going to become a lot more grounded. You're going to become a lot more detached from your emotions, which might sound like you're gonna become uh, an unfeeling robot, but that's not what's gonna happen. And instead, you're actually gonna have a lot more freedom. You're gonna have liberation from your emotions because normally in life, we are always dragged around by our emotions. If you feel angry, then you're gonna yell at, maybe you're gonna yell at your girlfriend or you're gonna yell at your loved ones and you won't be able to control yourself. But as we do this meditation practice, if I feel myself being angry, I'm able to detach myself from the anger. I'm able to just watch it. Because the second you're able to detach yourself from any experience, now you have power over it. The experience doesn't have power over you. Now you have power over the experience because you are just the witness. So if I notice myself being angry, normally the way anger works is that you're in it. You're lost in it. It's it's engulfing your consciousness. 
You don't have any detachment from the anger. You're, you're connected with it. You are the anger. And then that allows you to, that's going to make you act out in a rash way. Maybe you'll yell at someone or you'll hit someone or something like that. But the second you're able to notice the anger, you notice it. Say, oh, I'm angry. Then you're just going to watch it. Just watch the anger. What is anger? Hmm. Oh, it's just a feeling in my body. Okay. There's like tightness in my chest. Okay, I don't really like this feeling. That's okay. I'm just going to watch myself not liking it. I'm going to watch the anger. Okay, oh, oh, it's going away. Okay, I'm just going to let it, I'm going to let it go away. I'm not going to force anything to happen. I'm just going to relax and watch the experience. Okay, so the anger is going away. Okay, okay. I'm just going to breathe. Okay. Okay, what was I angry about? Oh, yeah, that uh, I was angry because uh, my girlfriend said something mean to me. Oh, and then you're, the anger is going to come back. And then you're going to watch it. You're going to relax. You're going to watch the anger. Okay, it's a feeling in my stomach. Okay. Okay, I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it pass. I'm not, I'm not going to give it power by paying attention to it. I'm just going to watch it with detachment. Now that's the technique. Um, this technique is extremely powerful and the reason why it's so powerful is because this is the essence of meditation. This is the purpose of meditation. The purpose is to gain awareness over yourself, to gain awareness of the present moment and to witness it, to observe the present moment as it actually is. Normally in life, every, every experience that we have, we always see it through the lens of the ego. And the lens of the ego basically means you, we always see every experience with the lens of what's in it for me. We always have selfish perception of every experience. So you, you'll have some anger and then you, you, you perceive it in a selfish way. So you have anger. You're like, oh, I don't like anger. This anger isn't good for me. And then, or you're going to perceive yourself maybe being a little bit sad. And you're going to always think about, is this experience good for me or is it bad for me? And the experiences that are good for you, you're going to want to cling to them. You're going to want to attach to them. And the experiences that are bad for, for you, the ones that you don't like, the unpleasant experiences, these ones, you want to get rid of them. You want to suppress them. You want to sweep them under the rug. Now, the reason why meditation is so powerful and why this specific technique is so powerful is because we're gaining neutrality of mind. We're able to just observe experience for what it is, not for if it's good for me or not. When you're meditating, you're just witnessing. Because again, we have the habit of judging every experience of whether or not it's good for me. So this feeling of anger, is it good for me? No, I don't like it. Okay, I'm going to try and suppress it. Or this feeling of joy in my, in, my, in my stomach. Oh, I like this feeling of joy. Okay, I'm going to try and cling to it. I'm going to try and hold on to it. And then when it goes away, I'm going to feel sad. And then I'm going to try and chase after that feeling through any type of external stimulation. So the reason why this neutrality of mind is so important is because number one, it gives you power in your life. You're able to, to remain level headed in every situation. You'll be able to make better decisions. Number two, you're going to generally feel more peace and calm in your life. You're going to be able to relax. And this is really what you want. A lot of the bad habits that you have, like smoking, or 
watching tons of TV or playing video games or watching porn or eating a bunch of food. The reason why you have these habits is because they help you relieve stress and they help you relax and they make you feel good. Now, meditation is essential for you if you want to remove a lot of these bad habits from your life. If you notice yourself kind of stuck in a loop of doing the same habits over and over again and you can't break out of that, then you're definitely, definitely going to gain a lot of benefit from a daily meditation practice because this is a way that we can relieve stress we can calm down, we can relax in an extremely healthy and sustainable way. Now let's, let's quickly go into some common traps and pitfalls that many beginners will fall into when they first start doing their meditation practice. The first trap is being too controlling and being self-judgmental. So when you first start meditation, it's very common that you won't be able to witness your thoughts that consistently. You'll constantly find yourself getting lost in the thoughts. Sometimes you'll sit down to meditate and for the first 10-15 minutes, you won't even be able to witness one thing. You'll be completely lost in thought stories your body will be tense and you won't even acknowledge the present moment one time. Now, at, when this happens, it's very common for us to judge ourselves. We tell ourselves, oh, I'm such a bad meditator or, oh, this meditation doesn't work. You have doubt or you get frustrated with yourself. Now, it's very important that you are always only witnessing. You're the witness. So if, if you're not meditating very well, or if it's an uncomfortable meditation, or if you're doubting whether meditation works or not, just witness. Take a step back and witness. It's like, oh, I'm judging myself. Okay, I'm just going to witness that. That's cool. I'm just going to allow it. Okay, it's gone. Okay, cool. Let's let's keep witnessing. The second tip uh, that's extremely important is that you have to meditate every single day. So make it a habit, a daily habit, 20 minutes every day. It's easy. 20 minutes is nothing. It's really, really easy to meditate every single day for 20 minutes at least. Just sit down, get your ass on the floor or in a chair and set that timer for 20 minutes and just sit. Now, some days you'll really, really not want to do it. Some days you really, really don't want to meditate. Now, this is a great time for you to remind yourself why meditation is so important. To remind yourself that this habit, this one habit, this meditation habit could change your entire life if you do it every single day. If you do this habit every day for the next three years, your mind will completely transform. You'll become a much calmer person. You'll become a lot more attractive to other people. People will want to be around you. You're going to feel better in each moment. This habit is going to help you with your bad habits. It's going to help you install good habits into your life. And you'll be surprised. Some days you really, really don't want to meditate because you think it's going to be painful or you think um, it's going to be monotonous or boring. And you'll notice Maybe the first five or 10 minutes is boring, but then afterwards you kind of break through and you surrender. And then you start to feel amazing. You start to feel peaceful. And when you feel peaceful, 
then you forgot why you didn't want to meditate in the first place because you're so grateful that you decided to stick to your daily habit. So that's, that's another important one. Now, the last uh, thing that, that I want to say is <sighs> this meditation, you'll notice it's extremely simple and there's also two ways that you can do it. So one is just witnessing and surrendering to the present moment. We're just allowing everything to exist as it is and we're witnessing. Another way you can do it is by focusing on the breath and allowing the breath to anchor you in the present moment. So the breath, uh, you're just going to watch the breath, watch your, your breathing, just observe it. And you'll notice your thoughts distracting you, your emotions distracting you, feelings in your body distracting you. And when you notice that you're being distracted, just very gently acknowledge that you're being distracted and then just go back to observing the breath. And you do that over and over again for 20 minutes and then the timer goes off. So that's all I got to say here in this video. This is an extremely, extremely powerful, powerful practice uh, just because it's simple. Um, it's very easy for beginners to get lost in gimmicky types of meditation where you're imagining all sorts of colors and <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it, there's just, there's, there's a lot of very gimmicky meditation out there and, and a lot of, and I'm not saying that it's bad. There's many amazing types of visualization style meditations and I recommend that you experiment with all different types of meditations. But it's also important that you choose a practice that is also simple. So just this, what I'm teaching here, bear witnessing. This is the essence of meditation. And it's so, so, so powerful. And it's not flashy. It's, it's not easy to sell to people because people assume that in order for something to work, then it's got to be flashy or it's got to, it's got to have specific, I got to light this specific incense or I got to play this specific music. So of course I advocate meditate however way makes you feel comfortable, but uh, also meditate in ways that make you feel uncomfortable. And then just watch it, just witness it. So that's all I got to say in this video. Um, I have uh, other videos uh, that I'm going to link right here uh, in the outro. So I'm going to link another video that is also uh, a very motivating and inspiring video that will help you stay on track with your daily meditation practice. My name is Adam. I make videos like this every single week. So you can expect one or two videos every single week from me talking about meditation, sharing different techniques, also talking about spirituality and psychedelics. The, these techniques are all going, going to help you raise your awareness and raise your consciousness. And this is the pillar, the foundation of all personal development work. So if you want to have more success in your relationships, more success in your personal health, feeling good in general, discovering your true nature, then you're going to be needing to follow along with this content and doing these practices and sharing these techniques uh, or doing these techniques that I share. And um, that's all I got to say about that. So stick with me. Leave a comment, like, subscribe. I got uh, the video recommended right there so you can check it out. And uh, that's going to help you stay motivated along this journey. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.